The kids of today will never know the struggles that us 80s kids had when it came to comics. What I mean by that is pre-internet, when you went into the comic book store to buy a comic book, you had no idea what it was about, and sometimes they were even sealed. So you had to say, hey, this has a really awesome cover, and it's a character I really like. I want to buy this. And then you find out that the cover is just an artistic cover, and that has nothing to do with the storyline. Well, today on the Extreme Channel, we're looking at a custom Venom statue based off of Donny Cates' Venom number 17. A very similar case in point. This is a variant cover, because as you see in the cover, Venom's actually fighting Carnage. And in Venom number 17, it's only two pages of the entire storyline. But nowadays, kids can look shit up on the internet, but be really careful. Sometimes you might type in www.co. As the Extreme Channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey, thanks for tuning into the Extreme Channel. My name is Mr. X. We have a custom quarter scale Venom statue. And if you're a follower of the channel, this is nothing new. Probably my 30th, maybe even 40th custom quarter scale Venom statue that I've had here on the table. Now, I absolutely love Venom. One of my favorite characters by far for so many different reasons. I loved him originally in the Spider-Man comics, then when he had his own series, Lethal Protector. And now the Donny Cates run in the 21st century makes him even more badass in my opinion. So I have a huge number of Venom statues, I've sold a huge number, and I have more and more coming in, and I've been waiting for this dynamic Venom, that's what we're going to call him, because as you can see, very action dynamic, for a long time. And as I said, it's actually based off this cover art for Venom number 17, and that is during the Absolute Carnage event, when Carnage essentially became like a god, stole the power from the Grendel Dragon, and he was trying to get the Codex, or the Symbiote, from everyone that's ever worn the suit, which is a shitload of people. So this particular scene, they are actually breaking into Arkham, Venom and Spider-Man, to go uh, get Norman Osborn before Carnage gets to him. However, all hell breaks loose and everyone turns to Carnage in Arkham and Venom actually says, today's the day I'm going to die. I think that's how that comic actually opens up. So for two pages of the comic, you see them fighting. And then the rest is actually about Dylan, Venom's son, and the Maker, which is like this really twisted version of Reed Richards from the Fantastic Four. Anyway... I just bought it because it looks absolutely cool. I love pairing statues with comic covers, so we're going to review this statue today. And as I said, this is actually a custom, which means it's a private unlicensed commission. We're going to talk all about that. We're going to talk about value. And there are definitely some issues with this statue, but I really like it. So let's dive in, starting with concept. Now with Venom, if, again, you're a follower of the channel, I always talk about Venom. You have a few basic choices you need to figure out. Number one, am I going to put him on a sewer base or the top of a building? Most Venoms, 90% fall into that category. You can see this one does as well. The other one is what do I make Venom look like? Is he very creature-like or is he more humanoid? It's a little bit of a mix, but let's look at it all. You see underneath the street. So you see piping and sewer piping, rats. You see the mud underground. And as you move up, you see the street base. And because it's such a dynamic pose, there's a bunch of stuff going on. You have sewer water, even though sewer water doesn't look like that, coming out flying everywhere. And on top of that, you have all these Daily Bugle newspapers flying everywhere. And we're going to look at these closer in paint and sculpt because they have so many cool storylines on them. Venom is on one foot, and in some angles, he looks really, really goofy. But again, they did this to match the cover, and that's what he looked like in the cover. But certain angles, he looks incredibly badass, ready to fight. You know, I could really see putting this up against a Spider-Man or a Carnage piece. In fact, I think I might do that on social media. He's flying in the air. His huge, overemphasized hands are everywhere. A few symbiote tendrils coming out. Has the huge tongue, roaring mouth. A few different head switch outs we're going to look at. This is really cool. So I almost call this, like I said, a very, very dynamic Venom. And again, if you're following the channel, I had another dynamic Venom, which actually made from the same producer, I believe, in this video right here that I eventually sold. I like this one way better. Still has some of those same issues, kind of goofy from certain angles. Granted, I wouldn't be looking at him from that. Almost like a ballerina dance. But again, you gotta remember, they're trying to match the cover, which I think they did. So it's different, it's dynamic. Not 100% original, but definitely some original stuff. I think the concept's a five out of five. I really dig this. Well, five out of five doesn't mean it's perfect. One thing Mrs. X even said is, she's like, why didn't they do Carnage on top of him? to really match the cover. That would have been next level. Design, 
Whenever you try and be really elaborate with the design, that means you have more potential for problems. That is 100% the case here. But before we look at those problems, here is the unboxing and assembly. Two boxes, you can imagine Venom takes up a lot of space, had an art box in one of them with the standard black foam and straps. This was the big one. There was a small breakage on one of the tongues here. You can see it right there. Not a big deal. And then we have the second box, which had two layers of water effects and the tongue on the first layer, and then all the rats and the base. I'm gonna attempt to measure him, but it's so hard because there's so many things pointing. All right, for all intents purposes, we are going to say this is the front of the statue. So the widest point on the base is probably about 15 inches. The newspaper stretch it out to 22. The deepest part of the base is without the newspapers or the water is about 17. If you add the newspapers and the water, it's almost 28 inches and the tallest part is definitely his finger back here just under 28 inches so this piece takes up a ton of real estate for a quarter scale now venom is much bigger not only Eddie Brock but venom is much bigger so I think it's scaled pretty good maybe a tad too big I hear that a lot as well before I get to the problems which you probably saw during the assembly most have to do with everything connecting in there are two portrait options. Now, with Venom, if you do second portraits, there's gonna be a seam. Here's the seam line, and it's really not that bad. You can only see it from the side, and it's pretty minimal. And they offered it without the switch out. So if you wanted it seamless, you had that option as well. But the first portrait is the one based off the cover. And then a very similar one, different tongue, and the right half is actually a transformation portrait. And I like this because it's different and there's so many transformation portraits we've seen out there from other statues. So the newspapers do not fit in well together. I am shocked beyond words that it hasn't fallen apart. I know when I move it, it will fall apart and then it's gonna take me another 30 minutes to get back together. The water also doesn't sit in very well. I have to keep pushing it back in. Makes me really wonder if this was QC'd and put together at the factory. I'm not thinking it was, which I think is a big negative. But I've actually had it sitting here for about an hour and a half or so. It was on the turntable a few times and nothing's fallen out. So I really, the news, it's about to fall out right there. See, it was about, there it goes, there it goes. <laughs> and that is exactly what I'm talking about. While I appreciate the imagination behind this, the execution just is not great. All right, it's still about to fall out. So I do want to give them a little bit of props for trying to go so dynamic. But as Yoda said, try not. Do or do not, there is no try. So I think that's a huge fail. Now you could display it without the newspapers, but that's what makes the concept so well. Same with the water. Definitely worried. Oh, see, it just fell right there. Definitely worried about it falling out. So unfortunately, I have to give them a two out of five on the design because the other thing I forgot to tell you guys about, these, these don't sit in very well. If you saw how easy I put that out, the magnets, it's more sitting in there. The magnet isn't seated close enough to the key to the body. So it's just kind of sitting in there. So hopefully it doesn't fall out. Paint and sculpt though. I don't want to say they make up for the design in paint and sculpt, but they did a pretty damn good, but they did a pretty damn good job. So one really cool thing is the newspaper articles actually have full print and full stories on both sides. Clearly they, they use decals for this, but it looks really good. Um, and they didn't uh, bend the words too much, uh, which they probably should have to make it flow better, but I like that. I mean, you can really go into detail about the story. And uh, you know, there's a picture of uh, uh, the movie Cassidy. Why am I drawing a blank on his name? 
super famous actor. White men can't jump. But anyway, so I think the newspapers are done absolutely fantastic. I know it starts with a W. This is going to be driving me nuts. So the base is okay. Um, you know, I talked about all the rats everywhere. They actually look really good. They look really good on the base. Uh, they did a nice job of sculpting the fur on the rats. And they, they don't look as plastic-ish put into the base. But some of the base does have a plastic feel, not only on the underground dirt that you see there. The pipes look pretty decent, especially like where the rivets are and the coupling joints connect. I like that a lot. But it's really that that dirt, you know, in the back it looks better. But over here, just not so much. I wish they would have texturized it a little bit more like they did on the back. The translucent green resin effect from the sewer water looks fantastic. Although sewer water doesn't actually look like that in real life. But I think it's, it's really nice, the different uh, shades of black that they added into it. And uh, as it gets closer to the tips, it becomes more uh, translucent. The street looks okay. It looks more like a comical street than a um, realistic street. And again, maybe that's just because there's some lacking detail in the pavement stones here. They do have the sewer grate. New York City looks fantastic. That's the rat you can move. And there is a little bit of a moist effect you see back here uh, in between the flow of the water, which was a nice detail they added. Venom himself. So I want to talk about his anatomy again. They're basing off this cover art, so they're not gonna take too many liberties, but I think it looks really good. While his position and pose is really awkward, again, he's in the middle of a fight with Carnage, and I think that uh, that's overlooked as we talked about in concept. But I like it. There's almost kind of a feeling of alive, like underneath the skin, you see almost like some bumps. Uh, that looks really good mixed in with the anatomy, and I love his over elongated hands. Again, it's just like the cover art. His huge fingers, so very smart. And the shine on the suit is really nice. It's not too glossy. I'm looking at some other Venoms right now. They're too dull and too glossy. To me, this is exactly where it needs to be. And keep in mind, I have very high-powered lights on it right now. So that really over uh, emphasizes that. They are making the logo, the spider logo, protruding. You know, again, this can be flush. It can be indented. Uh, they chose to protrude it here. And it does tie around all the way to the back as it should. And they did add that dirt effect. And you've seen in so many custom Venom reviews I've done where that dirt effect almost looks like shit. And I mean that in a literal sense. This doesn't. It looks like dirt. And I really like that they did that. They added some purple into it, as you traditionally see uh, in those Venom colorings. You see that on the pads on his hand. Um, but very dirty because he is in the middle of a fight. And then the tendrils coming out, I'm glad they didn't go nuts with them. Again, they stayed to the cover art for the most part. They actually even shortened this one up, where here it goes quite a bit longer. So very good choice on that. So the sculpt is, is great so far. And of course, the portraits are the last thing. So first, they're pretty similar other than the tongue and the part that's unmasked. So let's look at the unmasked really quick. Really nice detail of the Eddie Brock. So that skin looks absolutely immaculate. Even the veins and the detail they put inside of it, the fierce look on his face really matches as well. And again, like we talked about, it's a different kind of trans uh, transformation portrait because almost everything's been done. But uh, I love the gloss of his face over it because he's a slobbery guy. The tongue is different on this one as well. So quite a bit longer. But I like that they used a translucent tongue and that's almost like the cover art. Look at that. But I haven't seen one, I don't think, this translucent. And it looks really good. To me, this is the way to go. They still had a lot of dark red colors in there mixed in with the purple veins. And then the saliva drip into the side here that's clear. Looks great. The teeth are awesome, stacked on each other. Really nice shine again. Very glossy again. Venom drools. The um, uh, gum aspects over here look great. And I like the coloring they added to his eyes. Let me try and cover up some of the spotlight. You see that in there? They had some veins and then around the sides, that purple color looks great. Really great portrait. So while I think the base, parts of the base could have been a little bit better, Venom himself is phenomenal when it comes to paint and sculpt. Love the newspapers. Really well done. As I said, some of my least favorite parts are the base. I think they knocked Venom out of the park and he is the key to this. 
So I'm going to give both the paint and sculpt a five out of five. I think there could be some argument for a little bit lower. And again, that doesn't mean it's perfect. That just means it's very well done and exceptional. All right, so let's talk about the value on this guy. Now, a quarter scale Venom statue, you have a lot of competition, not just licensed, but ton in the custom as I alluded to earlier. $1,300 and they made 95 of these. That's a very large addition size for a custom. So I think when you include shipping, because I paid a couple hundred, if not a little bit more than that shipping to get it here and then I'd have to pay for two boxes somewhere else. I think like if I wanted to break even on the statue, I'd probably be selling it for $1,700 or $1,800. With the flaws, I don't think that could happen. I mean, that is a lot of money for a very unique, great dynamic statue, but it has some flaws to it and it's about to fall out again. I can already tell you if I push on this. So the key, it's pulling the key out of here so the whole bottom part's about to fall. But anyway, I think the value is a two out of five. I think if I tried to sell this, I would lose money because there's so many other great custom Venom statues in quarter scale and more and more coming. And again, like I said, you're 17, $1,800 just to get your money back. So I think it's a two out of five on the value. However, does it have the X factor? That's, is this amazing? Is it badass? Does your attention get drawn to this? I think it does. I think this does have the X factor. I would give this a five out of five. I really do like it. I don't have any plans on selling it. I do have an awesome spot picked out for it. If, if you wanna see what it looks like with the other Venoms, check out the Extreme Channel social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. The link for that is in the description below. And also, I do have a room tour coming up soon. So make sure you are subscribed for that. But uh, I do like it a lot. I mean, they, they accomplished what they wanted to. If this stays like this and nothing falls for, say, three months, I will eat my words uh, with some of the design stuff. Because, like, right now as it sits, it looks really good and extremely dynamic. It's cool how they did that. So I'd go back and change that design score. And maybe even the value score, bump those up to a three. Which on this channel, three is good. It means you get what you pay for. So with that, what do you guys think? Would you buy this for $1,800 or so? Throw that down in the comments below uh, because I'm just curious what your opinion is and you could win a statue with that comment. Wish me luck moving this. We will be giving all of these statues away plus additional ones at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Hey, thank you for tuning in. Again, I really appreciate it. If you haven't subbed to the channel, please do so. We're really close to another big giveaway. Also, just hit that like button. It really helps me and makes me feel better about myself when I cry myself to sleep at night. Appreciate you guys. Take care.